Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks, part three of this. And this by sure is the best way to do it. Uh, you only have to fill in this part to do the whole thing. Uh, if you didn't watch the first couple, we're trying to get rid of double lines. So when you, I'm gonna use the Smart Fill tool this time, and I'm gonna fill in, I'm just gonna do the parts that are uh, on the line, but you'd have to do the whole uh, structure, but it doesn't take that long. So we're gonna do there, 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 whoop. Okay, see there's that, if you didn't watch the first couple, he's got a like a hidden box. And that doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna do anything with that. But anyway, what's happening now, if we will grab our Smart Fill tool, and if we left click, right click, see this line? The line that's on the right, we need to get rid of that line. So if we will take this and nudge it over, well, let me show you first what's gonna happen. If, if we don't have that line or that other line and you try to cut this, the whole thing's gonna be cut away. But by having this triangular line there, the triangular line or the red line is gonna stop the black lines from continuing. And I'm just gonna do a couple so you can kind of vision it. So wherever there's a black line, don't, you know, don't worry about the red line, just do the black line. So there we have it. Now we can nudge our red line out of the way. And we watch this. Now you'd have to do the whole thing, but we're gonna control D to duplicate it. Get the two-sided arrow while holding down the control button. Now you have no line. And that, if you did the whole thing and then you rotate it, you only have to do this quadrant of the smart field, which will save you a lot of time from doing the whole thing. You know, there's not that many facets. Pretty cool. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.